Uh, okay. Hello, everybody. It's S City Medhaven here today, and I can officially say I'm probably like the biggest slacker content creator that you guys follow. Um, but I have excuses, and I'm going to use them. Uh, the first one being, I work rotating shifts, and right now I'm on swing shift, and for whatever reason, swing shift feels like I can't do anything with anyone. Because I get off work, I come home, and a new show comes out, and I watch it. And all sorts of other stuff happens all the time, and then I sit down, I turn on my Xbox, and it sits there for like three hours. Just as a blank, black screen for three hours as i'm watching youtube or anime because i'm a nerd so my brain is smooth and stuff is taking forever i know this i'm not here to apologize i'm just saying you know we all have life life hits especially this time of year i'm wearing long sleeve shirts it's freaking cold outside okay I even got new gloves. And yeah, these are leather. It's so good. It's so good. All right, uh, but I'm done with that. Um, new coat, new stuff. Uh, swing shift. Uh, th th this will happen like once every single three months. You guys will just see almost no content uploaded because it's swing shift. And I, I just I hit a wall. All right, but today I kind of want to go over the new update, some builds, some crews, a little bit of setups, what I've been working on, and things that I've been testing. So I'm working to try and get a video out for you guys for equipment, perks, builds, going over like if you have a three skill crew, a four skill crew, or a maxed out nine perk crew. And honestly, it has been extremely difficult. I'm not going to tell you guys any setups right now, but I'll show you some examples. One of them is going to be in the Borask, and honestly, the second one will just be whatever I think of before the end of the match. This wasn't planned. This is just because it's been almost two weeks since I uploaded last, and I am the ultimate slacker. Other than that, um, I'm working on a review for another tank, the E75TS, but you guys know how matchmaking goes on console. We just, you know, we join Q, we see tens, we join Q, we see tens, we join Q, we're top tier, then we die. Um, I feel like pain god with the amount I say, um... Um, 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 You guys ever watched the, uh, World of Tanks live stream and you've watched Pain God? I swear to God, you can make a song or you could literally probably take every single time he says, um, and make a 10 minute video out of it. Of just, um, 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 I gotta do that now. Uh, I don't know, he probably would never like me if I did that, so I think I should avoid it, but it's funny. It, it just just now that I've said it, you guys more than likely are going to stop by their stream once and just listen to every other sentence that he says. It irritates me, and I don't know why. I mean, maybe I do know why. Because it just none of his stuff was planned. It, it, it's forced upon him once a week. And he's, he's at that point in his life where it's, oh, hey, it's tense, but not bad. This looks like, uh, never mind, not very balanced matchmaking. Enemy team has three tier eights, and the rest are nines, and then a couple of tens. Yes. Yes. If anything, uh, matchmaker would be a lot better if they did the three, five, seven, four, five, six loadout instead of what they have right now. But we, we all know how it goes. We all know how it goes. It's just... They, they think they know what they need to do, and they think they need to do it better, and better, and better. And by the way, Igloo, I'm going to make a shout-out. I shaved. I don't look like a bum anymore, okay? I don't. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I streamed the other day, and he was all like, hey, you need to shave. You look like a bum. So, what did I do? I shaved. I feel a little bit better about myself, too. Maybe it was a good thing. Now, honestly, I look in the mirror now and I'm like, mmm, schmexy. I, I am just here to embarrass myself and go as red as a tomato. At, at least I'm good at World of Tanks on console. I have been playing PC and uh, getting my um, crap absolutely 
pushed in and uh, uh, other things that I've been trying out as well working on understanding concealment better on console and I actually did find something out that's really nice to know console concealment and spotting mechanics are actually identical exactly the same as PC and originally if I said this on any of my videos I was wrong um I think I said before that if you're within the view range, within your view range of an enemy, you will... your teammate will get none of the assist whatsoever. I was wrong, and I'm going to admit it. Or maybe I've never mentioned it on a video before and I've only told it to my friends. Well, guess what, guys? I was wrong. I was wrong beyond all belief, and I feel extremely stupid for it. So, I'm going to admit it made a mistake and it is what it is now if you guys noticed whenever I did full first English today first pull out the Borask I'm not running optics on this tank I'm running enhanced gun lane, gun enhanced gun lane drive for aim time and I do believe vert stabs so vertical stabilizers along with advanced concealment so the Borask and the builds I've been trying out on this um, it's primarily their concealment weapon base, but the concealment on the Borask is already so good that you kind of don't really need to worry about your view range because you're better off buffing your concealment. Because if I come to a stop as I try to get somewhere safe, because, you know, tens, tens all day, we're going to come to a stop. Look at how small that circle gets on the map. You guys are able to see this. I'm going to pull it up on the big screen. So our full overlay there with the entire loadout we we're definitely going to be out spotting even light tanks that are trying to approach us because our still concealment is probably better than their concealment overall light tanks do benefit however from moving concealment and you know their moving concealment is exactly the same as their still concealment which is their advantage heavy tanks they have a little bit of a still concealment but honestly trying to bolster a heavy tank still concealment unless i do believe it is the uh Kronenwagen. Kronenwagen does have decent concealment altogether. So if you do want to try and boost a Kronenwagen's concealment, I could be wrong, however. So I, I would say try and focus out your gun on the Kron, because your gun's going to be your best friend in that Kronenwagen, if you guys have it. It's a fantastic tank, 12 degrees of gun depression. It's there to ruin some one day, and it is Swedish. Yes, you are a Swede. Lover of the sweets. Fantastic tanks, all of them. Now, let's uh, take a look here. I just mean, look at that aim time. It's It feels like it's taking forever, but in fact, the Borask for regular players who don't use gun lane drives and you guys as Borasks, pretty sure you're noticing a massive difference with how that thing is going. And I am just gonna get shredded because, yeah, I'm a tier 8 against 10s and multiple 9s that have probably 90% better accuracy than me right now. And also the fact that I'm trying to commentate while playing again, and I'm not on Twitch and been doing it for like five hours straight, so my brain is just dead. <clears throat> you know, like, that. okay, primarily commentating, looking up at the camera, trying to make eye contact here, but just being weird. There are a lot of things in this game that I just don't agree with what the devs do. But then you look over a PC, you see a very competitive community there because they have a ranked gameplay, because they have different currency, all sorts of other stuff. And then you come to console, and console is more in the range of kind of a, a more passive experience, more casual experience for the game. We have, we Sure, we have competitive players that play on console, but the people who are actually really competitive are buying PCs and going to PC. So console, I, I actually had to sit down the other day and just think about this and believe me this is like one of those times i come home and i just sit down and stare at my computer for like three hours as i said my turn on my xbox and just three hours later um console you know if, if they do a competitive aspect it it might bring in more players but at the same time it might push away some players it might push away a lot of people actually that are currently playing the game so if they do bring back to ranked gameplay, don't make it super competitive, you know, keep it the way like it usually is and everything else. Because primarily, the, the community that we have, I've noticed this a lot. A lot of the people that I've met, they they might be teenagers. It it, it, it it This is literally how it goes. They're teenagers or they're in their 50s. There's like no in-between. There is none. I, I have not met anyone my age. I'm 23, you know. 
I mean, except for slap a fish, but that's slap a fish. You know, it just kind of came out of nowhere and out of the blue there. But we have an older player base and a little bit of a younger player base. Our younger player base is not as big as our older player base. And, you know, if you guys are, you know, 20 or 30 and you're watching this, just let me know because I seriously have no idea. None. All right. I said I would play a second so I can monologue for another, like, five minutes because that's the goal here. I just don't know what to pull out. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That actually sounds like a really good, really good idea. You guys have no clue what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to jump in the 10, because we all know how matchmaking goes. You kind of sometimes need to just pull out your big guns and go gun-ho. So, to give you guys an idea, like, the experimentation that I'm doing, I've actually been jumping over to Module Viewer, taking a look at aim time, reload time, accuracy. So, my accuracy is 0.29. I don't need the bolster that with ver 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 vertical stabilizer. But my aim time at 1.7, 1.69, that is with an enhanced gun lane drive. And the way that I play my E5, I do kind of get a little aggressive. So I kind of thought, why not try a toolbox? And yeah, sure, I got a pretty decent chunk of premium. But, you know, let's say I'm going to be more casual this match. Let's do uh, 12 premium rounds, 26 standards, and we'll go with that. But what I've been trying out is just different builds to get a better idea on like what equipment what perk loadouts you should be taking i actually should have showed off my crew on this tank to give you guys an idea on how this thing's put together so if you see this match and you like it and you do have an e5 and you want to try this out for yourself you can but the e5 there's primarily only one thing this tank actually suffered now there's two things it's got a hatch thing is if you can cover that hatch correctly it's very hard to go through so born leader rapid loading track mechanic steady aim snapshot run and gun this is a full accuracy build that's kind of what i'm trying out on this tank uh beforehand i did reaction time so we were using rapid aim to increase turret rotation uh clutch braking offload off-road driving so we have off-road driving right now six cents and last stand last time i've been trying out on quite a few tanks and I don't know if I can say this perk is broken. Because I want to say it's broken. But at the same time, I can't say it's broken. But I want to say it's broken. It's that good of a perk. But the thing is, you got to be at 10% health. That's kind of the boundary of why I'm saying it's not broken, but it's broken. It's, it's, it's smoking. It's, no, that doesn't even work. No, we're not doing that one. No, that, 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 that one's a big no-no. But... You know, just being on a whole different shift and feeling like I have no time to do anything. Like right now, I'm looking at the clock and it's like, I need to, you know, like, I, I'm pretty sure my older viewers will get this. I need to hurry to sleep. You know, like you always feel that need to, you need to hurry to sleep. Like hurry up and stop. Hurry up and go. No, it it's, I can't remember how it goes. You, you guys will know how it goes, but it just, you, you get that moment where it's just like, I need to sleep fast. But then it's like five hours of sleep. <laughs> like may maybe maybe six hours on a good day, but five hours on average. You know, like, and, and that's what my job is. My job's physical, can be stressful, actually, like 99% of the time. But I enjoy what I do. I make flour all day. I get to play in white crap and powder and fine dust and, you know, cough up a lung and a half if I forget my mask. But primarily, uh, I, I'm actually really proud about this. I stopped smoking. Or I'm trying to stop smoking. I'm trying. I stopped coughing. I stopped coughing as bad as I was beforehand. You, if you guys haven't noticed that, well, I'm just here to tell you I don't cough as badly as I did before. So with this tank, as I'm just monologuing and going over a ton of crap, you'll notice that my concealment is worse than my view range. Um, that is kind of something that I'm just, I, I will never get used to this kind of a setup where I don't have enough view range to really support my build. But in order to get a better idea on how stuff is put together, I kind of have to experience it. Now, this could be a really bad play, 
for a really good play. I don't have enough premium to be able to sit on this uh, corner for long. If the Death Star does come around, I do need to back off immediately because he can overmatch my side armor. Same thing about that E100 if he is using the 15. He can actually go through my lower armor. And there we go. We're just going to try and focus up the tracks here. If we can get him in the right spot, we're not going to be able to hit. I think it's further up. About right there is where I need to aim. He can't overmatch our small 44 millimeter side armor. That's on the lower part of the armor. So I do want to be a little bit careful against him. But each time I play my E5, I'm, I'm all about just being as aggressive as I possibly can. Just because this is one of those tanks that it's been in the game for such a long time. And, you know, a lot of people, they avoid going for the E5. Thing is, the E5, it's probably one of the scariest brawling tanks in the game. Just because of what it is capable of doing. So there we go. Being able to snap a shot into the top and right. As I said, he's going to be able to overmatch our uh, side armor. So we do want to be a little bit careful about pulling out against him. But with the Badger pushing up, we should be able to come out. And with that enhanced gun lane drive, I actually think he's got the building covering his hatch. A little bit right about there. Nice. That's a good shot. So, they're not going to need me here. So I'm probably... Actually, they might need me. Oh my goodness. I did do a I'm blind. You guys monologuing, commentating. Ooh, I'm not even paying attention to that. What's going on? It's all sorts of stuff. Okay, that's not. But, yeah, it, it's World of Tanks. That, that's what it is. You see, whenever I'm talking and I get sidetracked, all of a sudden we start to lose 11 to 14. Oh my goodness, matchmaking. It's a few days. It has been awesome. Really awesome. What is that? Object 268. If the 268 really wants to try and fall back to defend, his best bet is coming into A4. If he's able to get there without dying. But I doubt that part. I doubt it just a little bit. So we got a general, which is an autoloader, and a common panzer 50 tons. So let's go ahead and back off here. Now, with everything that's been going on, coming in, I would say, perhaps two weeks, I'll be back on track and maybe uploading once a week. You know, so far my channel's been week and a half two weeks monthly mm. i should fix that but nonetheless do not fear for i am on my way the way things go so happy i loaded all these ap rounds because i can actually go through cars heat rounds will they will get absorbed by anything in the way so you do want to be a little bit careful with your heat rounds if you are firing off quite a few of them just because they they can be absorbed. And right there, Kampanzer are up in the top, getting an ammo rack on us. I want to be a little bit careful. Let's go ahead, fall back. And I actually might be able to show you guys. I want to be a little bit careful about this fall back. Okay, so yes, you have a hatch. However, you are able to always cover your hatch. Ways to cover your hatch is using environment, barely poke your gun around a corner, and doing it that way can be tremendous for the team. And as I'm trying to get some aiming going on here, as I'm struggling, two versus 10. Oh, this is such a great scenario. I love these scenarios. I don't know about you guys, but they're great. They're happening a lot more too. All right, so let's take a look what's behind us. AMX 30. And, you know, if, if I do a lot of damage at the end of the game here, to me, damage at the end of the match doesn't really mean much just because you're trying to survive, and a lot of the enemies are not even going to hesitate to throw away their hit points to attack you. So, primarily, situations like this, I never really count these towards, you know, a whole lot of damage matches because these... These type of endings, these are just not the endings you want to try and go for. Just because these guys don't care if they lose hit points, they're going to rush you no matter what. They don't care. They're here for the kill. As I shoot a wall, make a mistake.
Oh goodness, Amex 30! <laughs> but, y y you guys get the gist of it. it. Trying out new setups and everything else, like right now at the E5 with this setup, the gun, the repair time, and just the overall gun focus and mobility focus that I put on it. That's kind of the whole thing I went for with it. And it, it's just performing really good. You know, and right there, I, I, don't, I don't even think I fired a single premium round. I think I fired nothing but standards and still did 4,800, however, uh, 3,000 of that was at like the last two seconds of the match because everyone was just throwing their hit points away. But it's an E5. Like, you, you want to focus on that mobility, repair time, and just even at mid-range, depending on the map, it just feels great. So just know, I'm not dead. I am here, just distracted, because swing shift sucks, and everything just hurts my brain anymore. Just thinking in general hurts my brain, but, mm. yeah, I lost it. It's all gone. Any, anyways, you guys, thank you. Seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm the biggest slacker, and you guys support me anyways. I'm just a huge slacker. I take a year to do stuff. But then again, I'll tell you guys now, the old perk setup and the old equipment setup, I probably could have gone over that in a blink of an eye and said, like, what perks to get right away because that's how it was. You didn't need to have someone telling you builds because we didn't need builds. We had equipment and we had perks that could be endless on a crew because you just had to train them. But then again, a lot of people say that they should add those back. Um, honestly, it was broken. And the way that it's broken is that there are some tanks that don't have a loader. Yet we have loader perks, which gave that tank a massive advantage on the field, which is kind of one of the bigger reasons why they never really match statistics with PC. And as I said, I've been thinking about it a lot and going through a lot of stuff, just brainstorming. You know, it's like, I, I want to go to school to be a developer for a game. I want to be able to make games. I want to be able to do stuff. But the thing is, first thing I got to do is get on track, get everything on track. And I'm just struggling with that. So, you know, work, play hard. Work, play hard. Work, spend a lot of money, play hard. Work, think about buying a motorbike. D -d -d considers buying $12,000 a motorbike. Uh, I, I might have a really cool bike in June. Just saying. You know, I'm, I'm just... It, it's... It's fun. Anyways, you guys, if you have something you want to see, keep in mind, I do things at random. So if you give me a goal to work towards and you, you want to see something of me working on it and upload it, put it in the comments. You know, E75 TS is up next because someone on a video said that they want to see the E75 TS. They want to see how to play it. They want to see how it works. So guess what? To give you guys an idea, I'm actually going to have to close that because I can't show that. I got to click buttons. But I am a complete and utter Muppet at trying to click stuff as quickly as I... I'm just going to bring you guys with me. Okay. Last 30 days, I've played 375 matches. Keep in mind, last two weeks, I've been busy. So in the last two weeks... I haven't really done crap. And I tried playing the KV-122 and the creature. And I went up against nines and died horribly. Yeah, look at that. You know, two battles, 35, 33. That was the weekend. I had the weekend off. Oh, wow. Nope, go away. And then two, six. Wait. Three, 18, two, nine, 13, 19, 28. One. You see, like, just this random stuff. Like, sure, I had some days I played for a minute, but then I just stopped. And, okay, I'm, I'm done with that. We're, we're, we're going down to this. Okay, Tier 8, Heavies, German, E75, TS. In the last 90 days, I am ranked 3 with 32 battles. In the last 30 days, I'm ranked 3 with horrible stats. Because, yeah. Okay, but other than that, my overall, 78 matches. Okay. 65.38% win rate. 
Okay, um, my overall rating in this tank is a 3,900. It's almost a 4K rating. Now, I'm performing exceptionally well in the E75TS. I can tell you guys now, this tank is absolutely fantastic. Now, not to mention, there's also the Roger Dodger, which I have a 4,400 in with 131 matches. You know, so these are the exact same tanks. This gives you guys an idea on how well I'm performing inside the E75TS. Okay. I got a 4,400 with 131 matches and then 78 matches at a 3989. But then again, this one has been kind of a test tank for me. While this one's been really close to getting the marks, which honestly, I stopped caring about getting marks for a while. And the reason why I stopped caring about getting marks is just because it, it, it's an achievement. It's a, it's a personal achievement. I'm not here to, you know, flaunt my marks and show them off. You know, if, if, if you guys see marks on the side of my tank, you want to know what that says to you? It means I am performing good inside this tank. And that maybe what I tell you can be of help. And that's kind of the goal. If I'm able to help you guys, I'm going to try my hardest to make sure that I can somehow put in words what goes through my brain in the middle of a game. And you, you have no idea just how much fun that can be. All right. A tip for everyone. If you don't play with people in this game, you're going to burn yourself out. Make friends. Okay, for older people, guess what? You have an Xbox guide menu. Click it. Okay, I run into a lot of people who don't even know how to work this. Okay, you can go down to the very bottom by clicking RT one time. Okay, and tap A once. If you see a friend request, if you see an invite, accept it. If they're playing the game and they invite you to a party and you're older. Okay, and I understand that sometimes I... Okay, you know, Storm? Will? No, Bill. I think it's Bill. I'm going to call you two out. You weren't there Friday night. And I'm going to say it. I was sad. I was expecting to play with you guys. Other than that, the community that has been building up around me and everything else, I appreciate you guys like no other. I'm here for you. If you want to know something, let me know. I'm taking my sweet freaking time working on perks. All right. I'm too busy buying Klaus shirts, okay? He's got a happy holiday shirt, and I'm going to be wearing it on stream one of these days because I freaking love it, dude. Klaus Killerman, he's great. So good. You know, I kind of treat this like a blog, but then I have my legitimate videos that I try my best on. And that's all we can do. And as for the tip, have fun. You got friends you play with. You have no idea how good of matches you can have just by having a laugh and kicking back, talking crap with each other, and just giving each other as much crap as you can. Blade, I am sorry that for whatever reason I am stuck staying up all night long. I'm struggling to sleep, and for whatever reason, I'm just struggling with it. Wish I could be playing with you on days, well, during the day, and... Toto, but Toto's usually up during the night. But you guys, seriously, thank you. It means a lot. The channel is slowly growing. Everything is slowly growing. I don't even make money from this, and I, I, I might monetize it, and then all monetization will just go towards slowly upgrading my equipment, upgrading everything else. But other than that, I'm not here to get big. I'm here to help the community as much as I can. You know, that's why I want to try and be a CC for the game. But the thing is, I doubt they like me because of how much crap I talk. I mean, it's it's a lot of legitimate crap because they put work in the game and I put work in the game to prove them wrong all the time. 6.0, worst update we've ever experienced. Five point something. I would rather have a ghost shell than get pinned by a premium round through the thickest part of my armor in 6.0. Because that was just dumb. Heavy tanks just could not survive. It was all about mediums and lights. And the game got really fast-paced. Really fast-paced. Oh, Now people are still trying to maintain that still fast-paced. And they're getting their butts kicked. Like me. Well, that's probably why I'm playing slower tanks. You know, if you're dying, you're having bad days. Swap tiers. You know, completely ignore that tier. You're playing a 10. You're losing all the time. Go play a 6. Drop down quite a ways. Give it like an hour. 
go back. You might experience something different. Other than that, it's nice to have you guys. You have no idea how much fun it is to say that I'm a content creator for a game I enjoy. And a while ago, I probably would have said this was the worst decision I've ever made to focus on this game. Sadly, I'm playing a dying game. I don't think I could say the game's dying. If anything, the game is growing and a lot of things are growing. And I know how much of a slacker I am. I've been monologuing for like 10 minutes. But yeah, you guys are still here. Thanks. Other than that, I know how many times I like to say that. But also, Pain God likes to say, um, like every other word. So, whatever. You guys have a great day, night, afternoon, midday, whatever time it is for you. If you're in the UK, I apparently have Russian viewers. I don't know any Russian except for offensive things to say that would probably make you hate me for whatever reason. I mean, I know the reason, but I'm not going to say it. So... Have a fantastic day, and see you on the battlefield if I'm on the battlefield. Hopefully I can put in more than two matches occasionally in 19 some days. Other than that, it's been a pleasure.